Okay, I finally escaped the chaos of Cancun airport. Waiting for my Uber right now. Hope the driver is able to find me. Okay, seems like he's here. Hello. Yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't see you. Business good. See? See. Yeah. Lot of tourists. Yeah. Yes. Muchas gracias. Okay, so we are here at the capsule hotel in Cancun. So I, I flew from, from Brussels, but uh, I, I decided Cancun just wasn't for me. Uh, so I'm staying the night because it's late, but then I'm flying to, to Mexico City uh, in the morning. But I decided to keep things uh, interesting and, you know, try out something new. Let me see where to go. Okay, cool. Seems like the, the entrance is here. Nice. Hi. Um, I have a reservation. Alright, could you show me your passport please? Yes, of course. Here we go. Lemon? Yes. Is your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's actually pronounced uh, really good. <laughs> My English is terrible, so... No, no, your English is great. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should be the one who, who should learn Spanish. That's why I'm here actually, to, to kind of practice yeah. Spanish. You know, when, when, you were, when you're like doing the Duolingo or something oh, like yeah. that? No. Doesn't work. But when you're in a country where you're kind of like forced in, in a way to, to learn, it's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just easier uh, uh, because it's like either learn or or, or no or, I mean, or 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 just go back you know <laughs> and not survive yeah the secret the secret is practice, practice yeah practice because yeah i'm i'm a student all my life english i never 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 speak english never yeah so i'm still um work here around nine months okay and start to speak okay so and uh, it's just no, it, no it's it's, it's, it's very good. It's, it's better. Yeah. But it probably also depends if you have like some native speakers, right? If they yeah. come from uh, England or Scotland. Yeah, the British. Even I cannot yeah, understand British. them. Oh my God. <laughs> Even I cannot understand yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the British people is on oh my God, oh my God, it's British. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay.
looks pretty modern I'm gonna lie <laughs> um, so the guy at the counter actually showed me to, to the room so I couldn't really uh, film but yeah it's it's very like a much like a spaceship outside you open the doors it's all lights come in you press first you press this red button then everything lights up then you have basically you have lights okay I thought that this was maybe adjustable maybe it's not then you have a headphone jack USB port I guess turning off and turning on sleep mode you can adjust okay you can adjust the temperature yeah I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here let's see set for okay I'm not very really sure <laughs> I'm just pressing all the buttons right now <laughs> look at this look at this if I press this button Okay, let's see what we have here as well. Okay. Hmm, not sure what this button does. Also have fire extinguisher. I guess mirror light. Let's see mirror light. Okay, pretty standard. Ah, okay. Mirror light is actually adjustable. Okay, got it. Hmm. Nice. And sleep mode is basically a turning off. Nice one. If I if I could figure out that this would be great, but I guess I guess it's fine. So okay. Last thing here is we also have plugs. We have a little safe here that you can put stuff in. We also have some hangers to put your clothes on. Otherwise, regarding the comfort, I mean, it's, it's pretty standard. Mattress for a hostel, I think, might be quite comfortable. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, as, as I've said before, um, I don't really want to stay at um, in Cancun. I think it's very touristic I want to I want to be uh, surrounded mostly by the local by Mexican people and not so much uh, by you know American and British tourists nothing against them I just I really want to learn Spanish and uh, and immerse myself in into the culture so I think yeah my, my first destination tomorrow um, Plan tomorrow is uh, Mexico City. I'm staying there uh, at an uh, Airbnb. Uh, I have a room with with uh, with 
uh, with another um, with another person that is a local. Um, it's an ensuite, so I should have my own room and my own uh, bathroom, but all of the other um, areas are shared. I think this this presents you know two major major positives for me personally. Uh, it was way cheaper, so I put, I, I paid around 230 euros for two weeks at Mexico City, and the second one is I'm actually sharing um, the room and the accommodation with the locals. So you know, it's my first time at uh, in Mexico City. It's always nice to know some some locals. He can give me some advice. He can give me some. Um, tips on where to go more importantly where where not to go um, and yeah I can I, I can kind of piggyback from from his experience and hopefully not get in trouble okay cool I'm gonna conclude this uh, for today last look at the whole place I'll let you know how the quality of sleep was. One more thing I forgot to mention is uh, <laughs> there's a TV. I thought this was a mirror or something. Let me try to turn it on. you also get earplugs comes in handy <laughs> if somebody is snoring good morning it's about 7 30 a.m. here in Cancun I just had a very amazing breakfast uh, at the hostel it was waffles and eggs and a little bit of uh, coffee um, but I didn't film it I I, I just thought I, I wouldn't disturb the, the, the peace and quiet of, of the people uh, eating their breakfast. Um, but let me show you how, how it looked like. So yeah, the breakfast was amazing. I also managed to reserve uh, the ticket to the transport to the airport um, because I'm flying to Mexico City in a couple of hours. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess this is the conclusion of the vlog. Let me show you where I'm walking. It's very hot. It's already very, very hot. Uh, but anyways, yeah, see you in Mexico City. Bye.